let's create this invisibility effect. So let's jump right into it. We've got two clips here. One of the clip I'm um, talking, snapping and walking away. And the other clip is only a clean plate. So you need to film it with a tripod so you have exactly the same framing. And I highly recommend to do the clean plate, not with the AI tool and masking yourself out. Just let the camera roll for some seconds and you've got your clean plate. Then select this clip, change clip speed and make a freeze frame. So we have only the freeze frame of the clean plate. Then put the clip where you're talking one layer above and the clean plate below. Then I go to the point where I'm snapping like here and set a marker at this point and then select both clips, create a new fusion clip and open it up in the fusion page. Your fusion will look like this. You can delete the background and the two merge nodes. Then click on the left dot here to see which clip it is. So I rename this clip to clean. When you click on the left dot, you see this is the clean plate and this is the actual footage from me talking. Then select the clip where you're talking and plug it into the media out. Hit shift and spacebar, type in magic mask and connect your media in with your magic mask. Select your magic mask on the right window and select a frame where you're fully visible somewhere around here and draw a line of your subject like this. Click on better and track your mask. And once your masking is finished, we can select our magic mask, hit shift and spacebar and type in displace. Then plug your clean plate also in the displace node and take the displace and just drag it onto this square. This will automatically create this new merge node. And now you see it looks a bit weird. This is because we need to change the inputs to this displace node. You have the clean plate in the foreground with the green arrow and the magic mask in the background with the yellow arrow. We need to change that. So select the displace node, then hit control or command and T to switch the input. So you see we have the magic mask now on the green input. This is the foreground and the clean plate on the yellow input, the background. And now you see we have already our invisible effect. But in my opinion, it doesn't look so cool for now. So with the displace node selected, just zoom a little bit in by holding control or command and scroll your mouse wheel so you can zoom a little bit in. And then with the displace node selected, you can adjust here the light power. Don't overshoot it because it will look really fake. So just put it a little bit up and the spread gives a little bit of blur to this. So it looks way better like this. It's not 100% invisible, but it gives that little spicy touch, which I think looks really cool. So the only thing we need to do is we go to the marker here and then I want the effect to happen at this point. And to do this, we select a new merge node, then hold down shift to plug it in here in between and then select the output of the magic mask and drag it into the merge foreground like this. Then you see you appear again. Then with the merge to selected, go over to settings. Then here on the blend mode, you can turn this down and you see we have our invisible effect back. So from frame zero until here to the marker where I snap, I want to have the blend mode on one, so I'm fully visible. So I set here a keyframe and then I go seven frames further or eight frames, how long you want the transition to have. Then turn the blend mode all the way down so I disappear. So from here these seven frames I'm disappearing where I'm snapping. To make it a bit smoother go up here open up your splines then select everything and press S so the curve is a bit smoother when you're disappearing like this. And one little bonus at the end let's say you only want to have your skin invisible but your clothing should be visible. You can do it very easy by copying your fusion clip one layer above and open this one in the fusion page. 
Then simply just delete everything and with the media tool selected, hit shift and spacebar and create a new magic mask. And then simply draw a line only over your clothing, like this and my cap. Click on better and turn the refine range all the way down to one. So it's a bit blurry on the outside, but not too much. Then track this once again. Then go back to the edit page and now on the clip all the way on the top you have isolated your clothing and on the layer down you have your invisibility effect like this. So you can turn this on and off so you're fully invisible or only your skin is invisible. And it looks like this perfectly tracked the whole clip. And this is how you do this very cool invisibility effect quick and easy. Have fun creating and see you in the next one.